report that our work in the United States has caught the attention of the World Association of Zoos, Zoological Organizations, and Complementary or Kindred Societies. They've contacted us to request our assistance with an emergency. So a zoo in Japan was just abandoned to avoid paying for their repairs. Now, I think you can probably guess who that previous owner was, too. No, totally not. Mr. Myers. Dominic Myers. Sorry, it's just that you didn't say anything. Look, I don't mind telling you, this isn't the first one of his failed zoos I've had to purchase. Okay, anyway, thankfully, all of the animals are in fine fettle having been taken into care. But they can't stay there indefinitely. So we have to make repairs as swiftly as possible and give those animals a home again. Although, I suppose technically, their giant tortoise already has one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, come on. There's lots to do and very little time. Mm -hmm. Oh, and even less money. So yeah. we will need to take out a loan. Great. Great. Hello and welcome to the Yamaguchi Prefecture Tranquility Zoo. It's these names get longer and longer, I swear. <laughs> um, so, yes, we, we start with an important alert. That's always a good sign. Always a notice that we are once again in a Myers Zoo. A reap bought Myers Zoo, not under Myers anymore, but Myers Zoo. Anyways, um, this is the second to last scenario in the base game, I guess. Um, and as you can see, we get another pre-built zoo that we're going to have to um, work around. <laughs> and it's it's quite a mess. Like, yeah, yeah, it's the developers, or like the people who made this zoo specifically, Try to put a lot of work into making the zoo just messy. Um. Anyways, let's just take a look at what we have to do. So we have to adopt and place the rescue animals. Uh, so we don't need to buy those. That's that's good. We have to increase the zoo reputation, and we have to complete all habitat boundaries because buyers can't build complete habitats apparently. Uh, that's going to be okay. Then we're looking at building a transport ride. <coughs> mm -hmm. mm, yay. Yay. Thankfully, there's already a rebuild. We just have to connect it. I can probably do that. Increase the zoo reputation again and receive a zoo inspection report with an overall star rating. That's fine. More rescue animals. Conservation and zoo inspection. Pay off all loans and adopt in place the gifted giant panda. So, all in all, it's just going to be like a, a long ish. Uh, play setting whatever you have no keepers i don't have any anything i also don't have money so we have two people okay let's just start off by getting a loan this is a fifty thousand dollar loan with two percent of interest this is wonderful you know that's what i'm gonna say red loan um and we do have habitats we might have to wiggle around with the habitats a bit because they're probably not ideal you know just Looking at the habitats, uh, I'm going to do a very legal thing. There, I'm going to fix this later on, <laughs> but for now, I'm doing it this way because I don't know where all of the staff buildings are and I don't want to build 50,000 staff. Buildings. Okay, they're all broken down. Yeah, the zoo has been cleared. Yeah, okay, multiple objects have been vandalized. Okay, let's just fix that. We can do that. What the heck? Okay. We have a broken barrier, yes, okay. Myers, come on. Um, now, if we... What do you mean there is no mechanics in this zoo? I just hired one. I hired a caretaker. I think we're going to hire two mechanics, because this zoo is, needs to be fixed in, like, so many ways. Um, so let's just have two mechanics run around. And the power source is inaccessible. Where is this power? Okay, okay, okay. Why are you inaccessible? You should not be inaccessible. Like, you should be accessible. Like, you... Let me just... I can't see. I can't see. I cannot see. Not good. Can you... Do this and then like you know you know what why would i when i can just can i just 
that going to work? Okay. Game. Hello. Okay, probably not. <laughs> Maybe here. Maybe? Hmm? Hmm? Do, do you want to have a power source here? Can I interest you in a free... Yeah. Come on. That apparently works. <laughs> the water treatments require repair and... The barrier is broken. He's fixing it. And I suppose the, the, the keepers will clean up the habit. And that water over there is terrifying. Do I not have a water filtration here? Uh, water. No. Okay. So we'll need... Is there any stuff area around here? No. None of this is stuff. Okay. <laughs> uh, so where do I put the... Because I can't put it... I could put it somewhere in here, I guess. I don't know. Kind of very little space, you know? Um... Let me just do a thing. <laughs> no, that's too long. Um, make the value Yes. Yeah. Just gonna make some space for a water plant here. Water cleaning. A doodad. Um, in this very professional attempt at a zoo. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Fine. I'll do the barriers afterwards. Anyways, we're fixing a Mayo zoo, so the hopes I have are... Limited? Why are you not snapping to the path? Hello? 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 Are you not going to do that? Do you just not want to? Terrain modification fail. What are you talking about? the game confused. Can you place it now? There's enough space there. Believe me, you have enough space. I'm a barrier and I'm a water cleanser. I don't have enough space. I need more space if I want to clean water. There you go. Sorry. Um, yeah, as always, my, my, my scenario playthroughs are always very, very professional, as I'm sure you've noticed by now. The most professional of all of them. Anyways. Yeah, we have completed habitat boundaries. Perfect. We have Nile monitors and a Siberian tiger. And, you know, just why are we starting off with animals that only eat meat? W where is the logic here? Anyways. <laughs> Let's get working on our people because they're the only animals we have. <laughs> the habitat is fine, I guess. It's not that pretty, but it's okay. It has a barrier and it has plants. It's better than other habitats I've seen in a Mayo Zoo. Um, does it have a food bowl? Yes. Okay, there's a food bowl. I'm gonna give them a big one because they're peafowl. We're going to have them all pretty quickly. Um, and they do need a shelter. And because I'm lazy, I'm just going to do this. There, does that work, little peafowl? Are you happy now? Oh, that's too many plants. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to have more plants. Um, let's actually see if we can buy more people. Is we have two. And um I'm looking more no not elephant people, please. I'm looking more like at more than that. Ooh. Uh I'm I'm taking the shiny because I don't know if visitors care about shinies, but I do. Uh can I have multiple males at once? Yes, perfect. So let's just send those guys in there. That should raise the population by a few peafowl. Uh, also, if we need CC, baby peafowl are a great way to get them. I think. Because the mechanic is on it. He's working hard. Very, very hard. <laughs> and the monorail is incomplete. Uh, yeah, this zoo is just in a permanent state of disrepair. Like, look at this. Just. Just look at this. Um, are we getting visitors? No. How do I open the zoo? Ow. Ow. 
Um, is, is, is your barrier not safe? Is, how did you get out there? What are you doing? Um, I'm confused. Are you also going to jump out? Yeah. Did, did you just say that? <laughs> you used the fact that the other animal was captured to escape. Oh my god, this is wonderful. Give me a second. Um, yeah, do I have to close? I have to open the zoo manually, right? Like, open. Yes. We, we don't have any animals because they're currently running away over their own boxes. <laughs> The zoo is theoretically speaking open. Go on in. Um, red research there. Starting with the peafowl. Who cares? Uh, also, we get two timber wolves. Can I please get my tortoises? Uh, they're the ones I'm waiting for because they don't eat meat. Please. <laughs> please. Give me tortoises. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'll stop. Um. Let's just get this habitat set up with some education board. Why are you so loud? It's the worst part of having like a peafowl habitat. Like they're... Look at this toilet slide! <laughs> they're pretty and all that, but avoid it loud. Um, I love, I love the toilet sign. It just... Uh, it, yeah, it, it just... It captures the states of this whole zoo in one single image. You know? No, I don't want the path to go away. Nah, are you stuck? Why did you get stuck on an open path? Sometimes I worry about the brain cells of our visitors. Um, now we're obviously not making money in the zoo. We have people. And the zoo is adorably giant, so, you know, we'll need more than people to, to, to survive. But we're getting somewhere. We also have like 50,000 stores that are closed. Uh, so I think, I think, let me think, I think I used this habitat for the elephants. We, we have habitats, right? But we have to kind of figure out where we put what. Because we have a savanna habitat here, but it's severely flooded. Like... You don't know, but I'm fairly certain that most of these plants are supposed to be above water, not below it. Uh, but it's a habitat that can hold our one Nyala. So we're going to send that one Nyala there and buy a female Nyala. Nyala, Nyala. No walls, no walls swimming in the ocean. <laughs> you know? It's not now walls, it's Nyala, but it's close enough. And I have two females. I, I've been playing this game for since it came out. But I still don't know if I can have two females. That is, uh, I believe, the most accurate way to describe my life. I would like to place all of these, you know, but they're expensive. I know that the null monitors go in here. Um, and basically it's like, the habitats are kind of pre-built for the craft animal. I'm saying kind of here, because they, they kind of are, they're kind of not, but you know, close enough. Um, so it's just a, a task of figuring out what animal belongs into what habitat, and what animals you can combine, and some you will have to rebuild, because, you know, like... Sometimes the habitat is just a mess, or it looks like a good idea until it isn't, like this one here. Um, I'm not sure how big this habitat is, but I think it's too small for the wolves. We have... Where are they? Timber wolves. You... Yeah, it's too small. So timber wolves would go into this habitat here, which looks smaller, but I can expand it, you know? Um... It's stuff like that that you just kind of have to do while playing. You have to kind of just uh, be on top of what's going on and adapt to what you have. That's basically all the zoo is. It's like, oh yeah, I have a habitat, but it's not exactly what I want, so how do I turn it into what I want? Uh, which is a pretty nice challenge for the, you know, 
pretty much end of the scenario mode. It's not the final piece, obviously, but the last zoo is... Spoiler. Um, spoiler alert. The last zoo lets you build what you want. It's like, um... Build it yourself. In, in, instead of, like, this zoo here, which is very much like, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what to do. 50,000 times. Um, so, yeah. Quite a nice difference. We're... Um, that's for pangolins. Yes, I know the animals I'm getting. <laughs> okay. Um, the peafowl don't have any enrichment. Obviously, because my research isn't researching them. For some reason. Uh, let's just wait for the other animals to get into their habitats. I guess. Some of them should end up where they belong soon-ish, right? Right? Are you going to... Yes, thank you. And the main issue of the zoo is that it is ridiculously big. So, let's take this Nyala here. And use it to figure out what's wrong with this habitat. And by that I mean everything. Just the whole habitat is wrong. You know? There we go. Much better. Is the water in here clean? Yes, but the water in the back isn't. Let me just... Remove that before anyone dies from water poisoning. So, species, Nyala. Where are they? There we go. Uh, once again, we have like nothing researched, so that's that. They're going to get a big house here in the back because there's going to be more animals moving in. Uh, also, because they're shy as hell. <laughs> that way, they can kind of just stay away from humanity whenever needed. That is too low, they won't be able to reach that. Uh, I love terrain, but I hate it when it does stuff like this. Funnily enough, the Nyalas are totally okay with everything else. So they're just there now. Um, I'm... Oops, they were a little low on money. I'm just going to add some donation pins wherever I can. Kind of limited, yeah. Um... And I guess I'll also add some information screens up here. What the hell, game? Why is it like that? This is probably the only place where people will actually see the animals, so I think that's a good space for the information board. Because, yeah. Who cares that the, that the screens are stuck in between the rail? That's, that's fine. All good zoos are like that. Yes. We need to fix that. Are there animals in the habitat here already? No. <laughs> no. Okay, we have in transit to empty. <laughs> okay, that animal is in transit. Um, the wolves obviously are not in transit. This is a habitat is a mess. Just, just one big mess. Let me just, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I can just ignore it, but in this case, I can't. Just bad. <laughs> um. How are our visitors doing? Hunger? Thirst? I mean, I have a, a literal crap ton of stalls. It's just that no one's there. Maybe open one Street Fox Coffee. No, yeah. No vendor. Yeah, I know I'm gonna get a vendor or two. Nye, 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 nye. Yeah. We do have enough vendors to... Uh, enough visitors to, in my opinion, acknowledge, like, a coffee shop. And... What are you... And that's keeper hut. <laughs> that's another coffee shop. People, I can't open two coffee shops. What are you selling here? Ice cream. Yeah, let's open the ice cream store then. There. I have two vendors. One of them can definitely take over the ice cream store. Right? Right? Like, hopefully. No, no, no. I'm not rich. Um. Okay. Are, are our animal monitors in here yet? 
Yes, well, one of them is. So, first things first, let's fix the terrain and the plants, because they won't like them. You know, it's like, in theory, the habitat works well for the animal, but then they've just really messed it up somewhere along the way, and then it's like an okay-ish habitat at best. Uh, that being said, I have no idea how long this scenario is going to take, because... You know, like, it could take a while. It could also be done really quickly, depending on how competent I am. So let's just say that it's gonna take a bit. It's... Technically speaking, there's not a lot of, like, buy animals here going on, because we get a lot of animals in the adoption menu. The only issue is that we'll get, like, one elephant, right? And as I'm sure all of you know, uh, one elephant is a, is a bad combination of elephants. Is <laughs> in, in terms of elephants, you need two or three elephants, not one. So that's where the issues arise. I would like to be able to just say, yes, all boards around this habitat should, like in this and that range, should display this and that information. Like, that would be cool. You know, like kind of like null barriers, but just like a dragging tool like this here, just mark them and say yes, all of them will say this. Uh, that would be much more useful. It's, it's clicking, it's kind of a pain. <laughs> but well. Hey, I shall survive. I'm also probably gonna do like 30 minute episodes for this scenario, because... Yeah. I'm feeling 30 minute episodes this time around. Also, um, can you see how the visitors just don't go anywhere else? Because everywhere else is too far away. They're just like, mm, no, we'll stay here. Oh, timber wolves have arrived. Perfect. The, the two timber wolves that we have. Uh, perfect amount of timber wolves for a zoo, by the way. Like, anyway. I'm just doing this to clean off the grass that's long. There we go. And then I can pull in some short grass and some rock. Stuff. Perfect. Now they are happy with the amounts of plants. Um, that's okay. But I'm not happy with it. They're all over the place. And I would like some plants over here too. You know, if only for my own sanity. Um, because... It looks weird if it's just a giant empty thing. There, now it still looks like it was destroyed. Thanks to the one whose name shall not be spoken. It's just dramatically destroyed and fashionable, okay? Um, once again, we have no research done for these animals. That reminds me, the... Uh, mm, the pea fowl just had offspring even though they have don't have any enrichment items and they also don't have higher food quality that's interesting i thought that wasn't possible but okay you learn new things every day i guess there how about have a floating building <laughs> perfect you love it i'm sure um I would like to get more of them. You knew it, then the green yarn. There. Now my zoo has one security heart. We only, I mean, we have a lot of animals. We're only charging three bucks. That's maybe a little not okay. I'm gonna try charging more. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Just, you know, stalk the visitors and see how they feel about the prices. Oh, they're expensive. Okay, fine. And, um, five and four, is that okay? Do you, are you okay paying this little money to see a lot of animals? Yes, great. Like, I get that the animals up front are only the peafowl, but there's other animals if you walk for five meters. Do I not have a research room? I do have a research building, right? Like, I'm not stupid.
Because, like, I feel like you would be researching. I'm gonna have a small research center. <laughs> we are slightly insecure about the possible lack of research centers here. I think mean you can't build it. There we go. Because, um, I do need my researchers to research, you know? Kind of what they're here for. Um... Okay, yes, our second now monitor has matured, so we now actually have two now monitors. Great. Um, I still haven't placed the, both of these animals uh, for reasons that we all know. Now, let's see if I can find any timber wolves at an affordable price. Timber wolves? Sure. I just want more than two animals in the habitat, that's, that's literally it. Yeah, there's about to mate. Okay, so maybe I was just... Or maybe they mate, but they just don't get pregnant. <laughs> That's a possibility that I had not considered. Um, Maybe it's just a conception rate that is pretty much gone when you're like... Um, okay, wait, I need to fix that too. <laughs> when you wrap animals like that, they're unhappy. So what I'm going to fix is the windows. <laughs> there's no wind. There's barely any windows here. There we go. They're wolves, so they're not like really, really shy, scary cats. They're they're okay with visitors seeing them. Thankfully, uh, nothing is worse than having really, really attractive animals that don't want to be seen, also known as polar bears. Um, that is a joke about. There's a nearby that none of you will get. I just wanted to make this. They have a pretty big polar bear habitat and it has a like giant cave system in the middle and you just never see the polar bears. And they have polar bear babies quite a lot, but you never see anything because they're always hiding. It's like I have a four year ticket, but I've never seen a polar bear. And uh, that's just, you know. <sighs> because they're hungry. Can someone please feed them? Do I need to get, like, a third keeper? Fine. I mean, I do have a lot of animals. I understand the need for a third keeper. I do. Kind of. I don't like it, but I understand it. Also, we're out of money, who would have guessed? <laughs> not me. No, no, totally not. Did someone just die? No, no, okay. I just read an animal has died and was confused for a second. My zoo isn't doing that badly, is it? Um, just tell people to give us money. There. The biggest issue with the zoo in the beginning is money. Like, it's also the only issue you have in the beginning, but it's like, here, have a giant zoo with a crap ton of animals, and you'll need a crap ton of stuff to just keep it going. And people probably won't want to pay that much, because it's a the zoo itself is big. But you don't have any that interesting animals. Like, okay, there's like these guys here, there's some Nialis there, and then there's like the wolves, I guess. The wolves would be a reason to visit a zoo. Um, just the staff cost, you know, like, <laughs> just staff wages. I mean, repayment is quite big, obviously. Um, animal food power costs. Like, because we we are powering this whole zoo, you know. <laughs> not like I can just not power the majority of the zoo. Um, can I raise the ticket prices a little, just a tiny bit? Yeah, sure. Just like six and five. What are we doing with that? How's that? Yeah, okay. That's the best I can do. What's going on? <sighs> Of course this one had to fail, yeah? Not one of the ones I don't need, no, it's the one I do need. Um, if, if you're looking at me, and you're hoping that I know what I'm doing, and that I will find a way to fucking help people. Do I look like I can afford to hire more vendors? Yeah, sure. If it makes me money, I will hire more vendors. <laughs> That's what you want. These here do actually make sense because it's nearby habitat, I guess. 
Um, and we should get an info stall going. Yes, that is not a bad idea, actually. Now, normally I would have to add an extra vendor just because, yeah, <laughs> we need an extra vendor to make up for the fact that there's six stores running. Um, does that give me anything? Food unlock and feeding enrichment. Well, high amounts of litter. Well, can people maybe wait? There's no litter boxes, is there? Do I have trash cans? Does my zoo possess trash cans? Myers, did you build a zoo without freaking trash cans? This man is... I don't know how he does it. I simply do not, okay? Like... Can I just repay, like, all of it? Go into debt and then be like, Oh yeah, I'm fine. Everything is fine. Totally fine. I can't afford trash cans. Because... A Dominic Myers? Are you kidding me? Um... So for those of you who don't know, um, sometimes, in, in, in some games, just taking plants and selling them it was a relatively good way to make money, but that costs me money? Uh, why does it cost me money to remove a tree? Anyways, I can't sell off the plant population to make money. It makes me very sad. How is this zoo ever going to work? Anyways, uh, I'm just going to let it run for a bit. You know, there is always the option of disabling any and all power sources that we have going. And just being like, hey, I need like water here and water here and water here. But that does mean that we need four of them to work. Like this one here we can deactivate. Sure. Can I click it? What a treatment. Technically speaking, we could deactivate this whole thing. Because that would reduce our cost a bit. I hope that that's not our only vet or staff room area, but... It's like little things like that that you can do to just kind of be like, oh yeah. That lowering costs a bit. Also, basically, like, everything in here. Not that I think we have anything in here. No. No, there's no permanent costs here. Um, but yeah, basically the easiest thing to do in a case like this is just figure out what you don't need and disable it. But most things are already disabled. Like, it's not like the zoo has 50 staff rooms and 30 power plants and 3 billion toilets. It, it, it barely has a zoo. Honestly. Um, why are you standing in line for a coffee that's not open? People, that's not going to work, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Well, we're getting better. We only have a negative of 8,000 this time. Quarantine, please. They all have listeriosis. Please tell me they don't all have listeriosis. Please. Oh, it's just one of them. Bit worried there. No one cash, you don't say. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, in the next episode, we'll keep staring at our loss of money and just keep research going for now. Not like I can afford anything. I think it's gonna take two years till I can take out another loan, and at that point, we won't have the money to afford the loan. But let's see what we can do. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I'll see you again soon. Bye.